Hi. It's me. It's been a while. I know. Lots of crazy stuff happening. Like, um, see all, all this? Yeah. I moved. I moved. I moved to a much better neighborhood, nicer apartment. Um, I got a cat and you can probably hear her playing with her little treats and, and toys. Um, yeah, things have been good. Don't know about all of you, cause I can read the news and it hurts my fucking feeling. Yeah, the news. It's, it's partly why I haven't been here in a while. I just didn't feel like, you know, putting my face out there. Mostly because where I'm from, I'm from New Brunswick, Canada, so east coast of Canada. That's gonna come into handy because it, it's makeup. It, it, this is makeup. Um, Batman makeup. Anyway. Um, in New Brunswick, Canada, we actually have been doing really, really well. Um, just, just of, of recent, like a couple weeks since we had to open our borders because we locked everything down. We didn't let anybody in and we did quite well. And I'm so grateful and so thankful that, you know, things never really shut down here. Restaurants were still kind of open. It was just takeout or whatever. But, um, yeah, the world is a very, very different place these days. But I've been doing well, getting a lot better. Um, in the beginning of all, all this Coco 19 bullshit, um, because of where we live, because the borders were closed, um, getting the, the food that I need for my autoimmune shit was kind of hard. Gluten-free stuff was gone, it was, you know. And there's still some things to the day that... The shelves aren't always full here in the grocery stores, but um, health-wise, most people here are okay. And um, don't want to get too much into all that bullshit because it's about makeup and, and I, I don't want to well and all that stuff um but for the most part people here also agree or, or agree to disagree with mandates and whatnot because we did really really well and life here in new brunswick didn't really change that much and mostly not for me because i don't really go anywhere anyway i don't i don't you know i work from home now got a cool job from home super again thankful for that um part-time from home Super fucking happy, thankful. But um, yeah, let's get into some makeup. There's actually like two boxes. Um, all, all of this, all of this. Um, I did have to like open it to like look in it, just a little bit, because it is from Makeup Revolution, and um, I bought them straight from Makeup Revolution, like in the UK. I think it's the UK. It's being shipped out of Germany though. Um, cause I made like a second order a couple days later. Um, so yeah. Remember when I just said that living in New Brunswick, Canada, the East Coast, Atlantic provinces comes into play with all this. So where I live, we have our own little time zone. It's called Atlantic time. So it is midnight where I am an hour before it's midnight anywhere else in the United States. So when things drop at midnight, there before everybody else. So there is a Batman mirror because it's the Batman collection. And um, the reason I'm just saying there's a, a second order and I'm just saying this because I'm just baffled at how much I got for a hundred bucks. This is a hundred dollars Canadian, all of this. Um, Cause one, I, I wanted to, you know, make sure I got the mirror because it's fucking cool. But I also realized, I think because I'm from Canada, I get redirected to like the UK website and not the United States website. And the prices are different because I bought all this in euros. And I, I had looked obviously the prices up on Trend Mood and all that whatnot. And I'd priced out like everything that I wanted or whatever. So I had like a hundred dollar budget. And with Makeup Revolution, that kind of goes far. And it really fucking does. And when I, I went on from at my house at midnight and I realized I was on the UK website and all the prices were in euros 
everything that I wanted, you know, it came down to like $57 because the um, change between euros to Canadian is, is less than the American to Canadian. But then if you even look out the difference between euros and US, it's still way cheaper to buy everything from Makeup Revolution directly. So I got everything I wanted from the Batman collection. And then I was like, well, I have a $100 budget. Let, let's add. So there's not only Batman collection makeup in here, but there's a little extra things, mostly from iHeart Revolution, which is their sister brand. Because in Canada, we don't have access to iHeart Revolution unless I find it at TJ Maxx or Winners, Marshalls, or whatever, or, or buy it there. And there's like really freaking cool things, including a hamburger palette. A hamburger shaped eyeshadow palette. And another donut eyeshadow palette. I already have one. See? I already have this this blue one and the paper just went flying. But yeah, it has like these cool little, you know, inside colors. And I do use it and I really like it. And and the packaging is like squishy. So that's fun. Um, so yes, there is a hamburger. <laughs> eyeshadow palette after all the Batman stuff. So let's get into that. Oops. I just realized I opened this box upside down, which is okay. But a lot of you are probably thinking like, why are you Batman? Why now? You haven't been around in like a whole year, nor have I introduced myself. So for anybody that's new, Hi, um, this is No Holds Barred where um, we just do whatever the fuck I feel like doing. And I can't promise you PG-13 experience or, or less, definitely not less. Um, because I, I, I don't know, this is just who I am and I do this for fun. This is not my day job, this is just for fun. Speaking of my day job and fun. Um, like I said, I do work from home so it's like call center stuff and I finally got myself a, a keyboard so I can stop fighting with a laptop. Ready for it. Ready for it. Look. Isn't this awesome? And it has like ASMR stuff. Even though I know you can hear the cat. It's fucking cool. I like enjoy my job five times more. Because they look like little candies and, and I want to pop them off and eat them. But I can't. Uh, I will link this below. It actually came with this freaking cool keyboard, a wireless mouse, and a mouse pad, and it was $50 Canadian from Amazon. So I'll link the link below in case you're interested of that. But back to like the Batman story and the makeup. Okay, why Batman? And, and by the way, this is all like the OG Batman collection, like Michael Keaton Batman. And there's, there's a reason why. So, for those of you who aren't aware, you might be new or you just didn't know, and maybe some of you do know, um, my biological father was a professional wrestler um, for a really long time. He wrestled in Canada, and Germany, in Japan, in India, and in all sorts of stuff. And there's my cat. Say hi yo! No. I don't want your butt in my face, you moron! <laughs> Isn't she cute? She is the cutest thing ever, but she's also fucking defective. Um, she's about a year old. And um, you know how like cats are supposed to fall on their feet? Not this one, she'll fall on her side. Um, she's annoying as fuck, but I love her so much. Um, yeah, she helps with my anxiety and she will also cry and meow and be fucking annoying if I don't eat on time and I want to nap instead. So I think she knows my sugar gets low. So again, for all of you that have never been here before or aren't aware, I have a lot of health issues and, and I live with, with them. I live with them because that's just what you need to learn to do sometimes. And one of them is, is low blood sugar. It's called hypoglycemia. And uh, yeah, the cat notices and then she just meows and um, she's amazing. I love her. She's annoying as fuck, but I love her. Oh, back to the other part. So, yes, my biological father was a professional wrestler for a really long time. He's been retired for a while now. 
but I grew up in wrestling families, which means that I grew up with Jeff and Rene Dupre. I can't say that fucking name the way that like the WWE says it because he he was on there for a while. Um, his name's Rene Dupre. All right, that's 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 his wrestling name. Actually, not his real name, but we're not gonna go there. Um, so if anybody out there is WWE fans, you might remember him from a while back. He's been in Japan now for a while. He was like the French guy, you know, they had like La Résistance and then they had this flag thingy. Um, this guy. Yeah. So I grew up with René and Jeff, his older brother. René is a year younger than I am, Jeff's a year older than I am, but I spent a lot of time at their house as a kid, and they were obsessed with Batman. And the summer that, like, Batman Returns came out, so it's Michael Keaton as Batman, Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman, and um, Jack Nicholson as the Joker, we watched that movie so many times, and I remember it was in, like, in the big living room with, like, the royal blue carpet. Not that any of you know what the fuck that is, because you've never been to the house, but anyway, whatever. Um, it's just Batman for me, and like the OG Batman, like I go back with that one. For me, it's good childhood memories, and I don't have like an extensive library of good childhood memories, so Batman is, is near and dear to my heart. Now, that whole um, George Clooney, Val Kilmer, what, I don't know what the fuck was that. I I don't know. Um, Christian Bale as Batman, I, I liked those. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Um, but the Robert Pattinson as Batman, don't, don't fucking get me started on that one. Don't. Worst fucking vampire ever. Took him 12 years to turn into a bat. Fuck, no. I ain't watching that one. But, but the OG one... Hell yeah, I, I have the DVD, the special editions, because I'm a nerd. And I also, you know, have it on TV, because I, I have, like, streaming shit, because news is depressing. But but let's get into this. Seeing as I opened this box upside down, because I did have to check the other one, it is the other half of my order. So everything that's here is $100 Canadian, like, with taxes and shipping and imports and everything. Which is fucking amazing. Um, yeah, for, for those that follow my Instagram, I have been a little bit naughty and, and bought some makeup. Whoa, I almost made a mess. Okay, so, since it's upside down, and the first thing I see is, like, this huge box, I'm going to assume it is. It is the mirror. Look at this. See that? See that? That is fucking awesome. So, handheld mirrors, like makeup mirrors, are becoming like a collectible thing. Which is fine, you know, um, Jefferson Starship and his bullshit. I don't like him. With the makeup mirrors, you know, it makes sense, you know, people started collecting them and then other people kind of came on. Um, but this is, I mean, there is of plastic, so there will be peel porn. But I'm gonna kind of do it like this so that you can't like see what's going on over there, even though it's just my makeup desk. But it is a pretty nice size. Like you know, I can, I can kind of fit my face in there. As a comparison, this is like my usual makeup mirror, which is um from Impressions Vanity, and it's a Hello Kitty one, so it lights up. Yeah, I'm a spoiled brat. All right, sure. Um, so you know, size wise, pretty close. Now, I'm mentioning the size of the mirror for a reason. I just said that I've been kind of naughty and I have bought some makeup. I did place an order with Colourpop just because I wanted a few of the Hello Kitty things. And I decided at the same time, since since the Barbie Colourpop mirror was on sale, I would pick that up too like while I was making an order. Because I have the Barbie collection with pure cosmetics, which is fucking divine. And then I got this for a fucking mirror. As a fucking handheld mirror this okay this is the size of this one all right like i can't even put my face this is the size of my hand what the fuck do you think i'm gonna i can't do my makeup my face with this color pop whatever i don't usually buy from color pop 
I don't really... I thought their quality's good. They just release so much fucking stuff all the time that I'm just... I'm, I don't know. I just don't care. But this is um, the Makeup Revolution um, Batman Mirror, which did sell out. Like, when I woke up the next morning, because I stayed up till midnight. That, that, that's a lot for me, okay? Uh, I'm old. I'm old, man. I'm just fucking old. Um, so I stayed up till midnight to place the order. I woke up the next morning and um, Makeup Revolution, like the US site, the mirror was already sold out. So I was really fucking happy that I got it. And again, um, I did the math, like I said earlier. And um, me as a Canadian, buying directly from Makeup Revolution saves me about 60% than buying it from the United States. So that's why I made a second order not long after. And it was because they released or re-released the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. So I had to, we got the whole fucking thing. Except for like one, I think. And I also picked up the highlighters and a few things I wanted from like that Cocoa Pebble, Fruity Pebble. I don't know, we don't have that cereal in Canada, we're not allowed to have it anymore. But I do have a friend of mine that um, collects candy and collects a bunch of stuff. And uh, he will bring some back from the United States when he goes on trips. Anyway, so there's a whole other order coming in. It should be in a couple of days. I, I may do this again if, if I'm having fun. So I'm going to try to open the Batman stuff. But again, I opened everything upside down. And um, this is paper. The cat's going to come around to play with it. She loves paper. Paper is her favorite. Oh my gosh. I can see like the burger one and the packaging. And it's fucking amazing. This is going to be like an hour long video because all my fucking videos are like an hour long. I don't know. I don't think anybody gets to the end. I shouldn't say that. There's a few people. I have a few people that watch every single thing I do, comment, and and I just like you guys. You're, you're just my friends. You're like legit friends to me. So I did get this big one because it's not like the Batman, but these are supposed to be the colors on the inside. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. It is like in their flawless packaging and I do have a few Makeup Revolution flawless and um, I really like them. So we'll open this in a second. I also got the Catwoman eyeshadow palette. So these are the colors in the outside and everything because you're seeing the packaging before even I looked at it. Y'all special. Mm -hmm. it, it has some texture to it, so that's it's cool and it's got like a good weight to it. I think it's going to be good. I mean, usually Makeup Revolution is good. And I got the Batman highlighter because if y'all don't know by now that I love fucking highlighters so you can see me from the moon, you might be new. Hi, if you're new, I like you, I think. Maybe? Who, who, who cares? Um, um, as in, like, um, I don't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm just here for fun. Okay, and we got the highlighter, and then, of course, I had to get a lip gloss. So, it's just this one here. And it's just, like, the clear... Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's just clear with, like, white sparkles. I have a thing, I think, now where I collect clear lip glosses with white sparkles I, I do um but I can see here they're like iridescent and blue and purple mm, it go it gonna be pretty all right put this over here and um the rest of this stuff is not Batman so we'll get to it after okay hi I'm back we had a little bit of technical difficulties while I took a break to open all the packaging because my cat really likes stickers. <laughs> I think I buy too much stuff. Um, she really likes stickers, so she goes bananas for stickers. And um, then she decided to jump on all my stuff and, and fell. And of course, like I said, she's defective and doesn't fall on her paws all the time. Um, but I love her. So, to, to the, what we're here for. And, and by the way, um, I don't even know if this is in focus or not because it's kind of far away and I, I can't see that far away and, and pellets and stuff might be in front of my face because like the monitor thingy is like 
off to, to the side and um, doing the best that I can, all right? For those of you who ask and wonder like how blind I am, so I have new glasses and for the first time in my life I have gotten prescription sunglasses. And I'm mentioning that just so that I can show you how thick my glasses are because with the sunglasses they can't thin them down as much as they can with my actual glasses, so. Here are my sunglasses. Prescription for the first time in my life. The frame is from Polaroid. I had no idea that Polaroid actually made glasses, frames, whatever. Um, but the thing is, is like, this, this is how thick my glasses are. And this is, this is thinned out, by the way. Like. Can, can you see that? I, I don't know if, if you can, um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's whatever. It is what it is, man. Um, and if this part isn't included, then I never mentioned it because that means you didn't see how thick the glasses were. Okay, back to makeup. I think I've been here for fucking half an hour and I haven't even shown you anything yet. So. The big flawless palette is this. I didn't get the big, big one because that was too much stuff that I didn't need. So you're going to see the colors before even I do, all right? So these are the colors. Um, I hope this is in focus. Um, so let me look at them. I can kind of see them in the thingy. And um, it's beautiful. I, I really do like this color story. I know... It's kind of sort of eclectic, but it kind of also works like these like Joker colors. And then there's this one here that's like Batman yellow. Like Batman yellow is its own yellow. Is it not? It has to be, right? Like I'm not the only person that thinks that, right? I love how they have like the black and yellow next to each other. Usually they'll put black in like a corner, but I like how it's like front and center. So these are the colors and um i'm super super fucking exciting excited excited i can't talk look my job requires me to speak french and um even though i can't speak french and all that stuff um i haven't had that many full conversations in french and now i have to have them like you know for hours at a time whatever um so, whatever. Um, oh, meow. Mm, sure. So this is like the Catwoman. And again, you get to see the colors before I do. So, here you go. Oh, I think there's a paper. Oh, the names of the shades are on the little paper. Okay. So, um, yes. All right. So far, nothing's broken. I was kind of scared things might be broken because the boxes were kind of squished, but these are the colors in the Catwoman palette. And yeah. So in this whole Batman themed stuff, there was a Joker palette, but it was like the Suicide Squad Joker, and there was a Harley Quinn one as well. That one had like pastelish colors. I thought about that one, but you know, I ultimately just liked these colors better for the smaller one and, and the Batman, um, you know, one like one. Okay. This Batman has this OG Batman single that I like, but I, I do like the color story on the inside. Like I have shown you before. So these are the colors and, and super happy I'm not disappointed because let me check you'd swear for someone that has such ADHD um that I'd be more organized than this took me for fucking ever to find the receipt so this palette here like the flawless palette was ten dollars and thirty nine cents Canadian and on the trend mood I'm pretty sure it was $18 US so yeah I saved some money and this mirror here was $9.59 Canadian and 
this lip gloss that I haven't opened yet was $5.59. I'm saying, like, these prices are just worth it. Um, the highlighter that we haven't opened yet either um, was $6.39, and this Catwoman palette was $7.99. So in there is a big ball. It was $10. I heard Revolution palette, and then the other things here. Um, oh, something's missing. Ah, that yellow donut that I said I was going to get is in here. The lesson's in there. Whatever. Let's just keep going because, um, yeah, nobody comes here for continuity. Continuity? Whatever the fuck that reason I'm saying. Um, so this is what the Batman highlighter looks like. And on the inside, and it looks to be a really, really pretty... Shanty. Oh, it's look at that. See that on my finger? Like a nice, like champagne -y pink color. Oh yeah. Can I don't know if you can. Yeah, I think you can now. It's kind of hard to, for me to see if things are in focus, but um, yeah, I can't wait to play with this. But the one thing that I can play with right now is this lip gloss. So. There's Batman on this side, and then it just says, like, Revolution Gloss. I don't know if you can see it, but it has, like, some shifty colors. Um, all right. Maybe you can see them now. I'm not too sure. And my phone just started singing to me some weird song. I don't fucking know. Those things listen to you. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Oh, it's nice. nice and thick that's what she said look that is not what she said because I was there she didn't say that so she'll fuck up um but yes this feels really nice and comfortable on the lips I have a lot of lip gloss if you follow on Instagram you'll know that I have a love for lip gloss and um yes I really like it it's nice and thick not you can't feel any chunks of anything. It's nice and smooth. Yes! It just looks like nice, really wet, juicy lips. That's going to sound so sexual, but technically it's supposed to be. Makeup is... Look, makeup is to make me feel the way that I want to. It's for me. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel happy. So fuck all y'all. Okay? So, to recap the Batman collection, we got the mirror. So it was like, you know, it, it's high in my face, so it's nice size. We also got this lip gloss that I'm very much enjoying. And we got a highlighter. So I picked up the Batman one. There is a Catwoman highlighter, but it looks to be more on the gold side. And personally, for me, gold doesn't really look the best. And then we got the Meow Catwoman eyeshadow palette with, you know, papers that are probably going to fall out. And um, the OG Batman Forever Flawless one that I can't open. Now it's open. Um, this one, in case you forgot, even though I showed it like five times. Well, that was all of the Batman stuff I got. So now I just have like the I Heart Revolution stuff. And I just looked through all the boxes, and the yellow donut one isn't there. So I'm going to have to contact them about that to get my $3.99 back, because that's all it was at. Um, but, um, yeah, we have a few things here, but this was in this big box that was crunched up. Because it was this huge thing. Look, look how big this is. My cat is in kitty box heaven right now. Um, but what is in this big thing, which was $10 for all of this, all right, $10. Um, it has mini sour cherry chocolate palette, black cherry chocolate palette, chocolate cherry lip gloss, and chocolate cherry fixing spray. Um, so when it comes to, like, the I Heart Revolution, like, chocolate palettes, I started collecting them. Mostly because Aria started collecting them, and then I was like, you know what? They're like five or six bucks, and the quality is really good. 
So let's just keep collecting them. So we open the little Christmas bowl. You get this. I have bought sets from like the chocolate bar thing. I don't know. It came in a big heart and um, the heart box, the heart shaped box is, is up on the wall over there. Um, but so this is what's in here. So we have this chocolate lip gloss. So this is the color. Um, let's see if it smells like chocolate. A little bit. You know what it smells like? It smells like my cheap makeup. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say. But it's oh, it's a really pretty like berry color. So this is the color that it comes out to be. You think I'd swatch better by now? But you know. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. That's gonna be pretty. I'm gonna wear that. And it has this chocolate cherry fixing spray. Which is, I think that's like their standard size bottle. Um, I do like their, their fixing spray. It's good. Um, is it amazing? Yeah, kind of, actually. Um, between the iHeart Revolution, because I have a, a cucumber one. Um, this and the Milani are the ones that I, I use the most. Um, except for the Too Faced Hangover RX. That's the only one that I will buy full size at full price. Um, Otherwise, all my sprays and stuff are all like drugstore or brands. And then there's the, the bigger chocolate palette. And I'm just going to open it so I can move the thing out of the way. And like a smaller one. This is the first time I have a smaller mini one. And um, for anybody that's new, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of awkward. So let's open up this bigger palette. So here are the colors in the bigger one. Ooh, those are nice. I I mean, I, I did like look it up to see what the colors were before I put it in like my basket. But yeah, these are really pretty. Some like purples and some brown. Like kind of like purple but neutral is, is kind of where this is at. So that's nice. And uh, yeah, Chloe's playing um, decorator. She redecorates my house a lot. So this is that smaller one here, which is Sour Cherry. Um, these are the colors in there. I don't like this color story as much as the other one. But I mean, for $10, like, it's kind of like this one came with it for like free. And, um, thanks. Thanks. How, how do y'all do this? The ones of you that have cats. How, how do y'all do it? Um, anyway, Th there are some interesting colors in there, but not my favorite. But, I mean, it came with it. The bigger one, though, definitely, this is definitely one of my favorites in the colors. So that's what was in that whole bowl. All of these things combined were $10 Canadian. Why do you look so depressed? She looks depressed. She probably wants attention. Um, so sticking with the chocolate bar I Heart Revolution, I did get this one. It was on sale. It's got everything on the sale thing. I, I, I get everything on sale. I'd like to say I'm cheap. Not necessarily. But um, I'm just not rich. Okay. Um, but again, I do like this color story on here. Let's open it up on the outside. It, it looks like this. So yeah, the chocolate bar palettes from My Heart Revolution, they do have like the exact same mold. The colors just change. I have, there's like six of them down there um, already. And I got them all at like Winners and, and Chef. But oh, this is gorgeous. More purple neutral colors. Oh wow. Again, I had looked at the color before I put it in my cart. Like seeing it in person, um, yes, like this dark one up here, can you see that? And then like this green, wow, these ones right down there, can you see them? Can you see all the colors? I'm, I'm super excited for this one. This is going to be fun. Um, they must run out of names, like every single palette, and they, I think they have like 
probably 50 different versions by now. The hamburger palette is, is in like a hamburger box. But before we get there, I did pick up this one that has like this falling, you know. I already have three of these already and it was $3.99. So I decided to add it to my cart because the quality is actually really, really good. And the pan size is really big for a nine pan palette. Like the, they're pretty, they're pretty big. Um, just, just for comparison, this is like a Huda and, and this is their size. So there's a huge pan size difference and the quality is not Huda quality because Huda, can you get better than that? No. And yeah, I, I have some Natasha Denona too and I still prefer Huda. But anyway, um, yeah, the pan size is nice and big and I do like this color story and it was affordable. So it's going to kind of go in the collection because I've had to admit that I am falling into the category of a collector. So. And now we're at the end. It's the last one and it's the most fun thing. I mean, the Batman stuff um, is actually like serious makeup for me. Um, this is just fun. Now, I actually had seen these at, like, look, it's like in a little, like, burger box. Isn't that awesome? Um, I had actually seen them when they first came out, and I actually liked the color story with this one. So when I saw it on sale, I was like, hell yes. Um, but I did just check the receipt. So this was $3.85, and then this was $5.85, I think, so, um... I've already forgotten and I just looked and I'm not looking again but look it's like a burger box and then you open it and then there's the burger um <laughs> isn't this cute like who thinks of these things right and it's squishy so you have like your you know, ASMR moments okay it's silent so it's not ASMR but it's it's some kind of soothing something and this is the vegan stack. So there's one that's like a cheeseburger and that one has like brown-ish colors. But the vegan stack one has green colors, which I like. So here are the colors in there. See? See, I'm not completely crazy. Like it's cute packaging and everything like that. But the colors are actually something that I would use and wear. And I do plan on using and wearing them. Um, yes, very, very pretty, very, very on point, very together, like they, they all look like they work very well together, and the formula, I'm assuming and I'm hoping is the same from this donut, which I'm sad, I don't have the yellow donut, I wanted that one, but like, it's a fucking hamburger, it's a hamburger, and then it's like, eyeshadow and then it can also double as like you know spongebob yo spongebob um yeah <laughs> speaking of spongebob you probably can't see it back there but uh it sounds like the coolest fucking pineapple ever can you see this can you see this it is a pineapple with skulls it's made of skulls if this does not accurately describe my personality, then you don't know me enough yet. You don't know me well enough yet to know that a pineapple made out of skulls that lights up too. I don't know if you can see the colors, but it lights up. No, you probably can't. Too bad for you. More fun for me. But to recap this part, we had this huge cherry bomb thingy majiggy that's made of metal and I will probably keep it. This will probably go amongst my decorations because I have the weirdest fucking decorations and they make me happy. And if you call them childish, I don't even care. The world is so fucked up. Mostly 2020 and 2021 has been fucked up. So if there's little things that I can do in my house to give me a little bit of smile to just cut out the seriousness for just a little bit, I will do it. So you say what the fuck you want after me. I don't give a shit. So in that big cherry bomb, we had a full sized palette and then a mini sized palette and also 
uh, fixing spray, so setting spray, I guess. Setting spray is what we call it in North America. Maybe they use a different word over there. They have different words. I don't like how the fuck they say aluminum, anyway. And then we got a lip gloss, which was in a very, very pretty color. And we got another chocolate bar palette with a lot of purples in it. And then another one that, this is just soothing. And, and then we got a hamburger. We, we got a fucking hamburger. We got a fucking hamburger. This is just, this has made my day. Like, the Batman stuff is awesome and cool because I'm, I'm going to put it on my face and use it. I, I will probably use this a few times, but mostly it's just fucking cool. And that's it, man. That's all I got for today. Thank you if you're still here. If, if you're not, then uh, cool. Go do whatever the fuck makes you happy. Do, do, do things that make you happy. Do things that set your soul on fire. Yeah, I, I like what I'm doing. I cannot complain. My keyboard is cool as fuck. And other than that, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can. I'm not saying I'm interesting there either. And um, to the people that I know are out there watching, um, there are a few, like three, okay? doesn't fucking matter, okay? I have fun. Again, this isn't my day job. I just do this for fun. There's a few people that really like me and what I say and I don't know. Cool. And if nobody does, then that's also cool because life shouldn't be that serious. And um, again, do whatever the fuck makes you happy and I'll see you later.